So we're trying to work out the um, molar heat of combustion and we've got some data here, so from a practical and it's methanol that we're looking at and the graphical formula would be C H H H O H Okay, it's burned these bonds are broken and converted uh, into CO2 and H2O if it's completely combusted. We're assuming it's completely combusted. 0.19 grams is used of this particular fuel and we want to find the energy for one mole of it. Okay, so we want to find Let's, let's work out the heat of combustion here. So we're using dot H equals minus. There's always a minus there. Often we don't refer to it, but the minus is in there. Mass of the water used. Um, that's in grams. Times the specific heat of water, which is... Which is four... 4.18 and that's joules per gram per Kelvin in the HSC on the um, data sheet there's a value that says 4.18 times 10 to the 3 and that's joules as well but it's per kilogram per Kelvin so what I tend to do is use this value here so drop this part and we, we're measuring in grams now not kilograms if you have a question in kilograms you can use this one if you don't we're using this one just for grams, joules per gram so it's to raise the temperature of grams alright so we got C there we're going to use this value times delta T or the change in temperature caused by this burning of this, this much fuel. Um, we have 100 mils of water which is approximately 100 grams and we're going to, it's pretty much 100 grams. The change in temperature is the highest temperature minus the lowest temperature which is 10 degrees Celsius. Okay, so we've got delta H equals minus 100 times 4.18. Remember we're using grams, so we're going to use 4.18, not 4.18 times 10 to the 3. And that's times 10 for our temperature change. And the answer then is delta H equals minus 4180 joules. Now we can change that to kilojoules because we want prefer to work in kilojoules because there's quite a few there, which is minus 4.18 kilojoules. So we've just moved the decimal place one, two, three places to get joules to kilojoules. There's a thousand joules in one kilojoule, so it's going to be less. So make sure you go that way. Okay, that is the amount, kilojoules, that was only for 0.19 grams of our fuel methanol. We need to know how much, how many kilojoules will be for uh, one mole of methanol. One mole of methanol, CH3OH, so 12 plus 4 times 1.08 plus 16. So, okay, we've got 32, 32 grams is one mole. How much for one mole? 
So we can use a, a simple ratio here. Just move this up. 4.18 is to x. Um, equals 0.19 is to 32. And you can cross multiply here and you get 0.19x equals 4.18 times 32x equals 4.18 times 32 divided by 0.19 so our x value which is our heat of combustion in kilojoules or th one mole equals you work that out you'll get 704 kilojoules per mole remember 32 is one mole so that's how we work out methanol the fuel which has a heat of combustion of 704 kilojoules per mole.